Hey demons! So in today's video is going to be a little different as today I am going to be um, redesigning the fairy presets in Gotcha Club. Which is a bit strange, but um, yeah, I just kind of got inspired to do it suddenly because I was originally going to the redesign presets, but um, like the weird and crazy ones, but that just seemed like a very strange waste of time. So instead, we're just redesigning the fairies because I honestly have more ideas for them. <laughs> Starting off with our first fairy in the list, we have the water fairy. Now, honestly, as I was looking through these fairies, their profiles um, give some information about their personality. So basically, I kind of want her to embody that more. And for some reason, she has a snowflake in her hair instead of like a water droplet or something. Also, with her hair, I gave her like, um, uh, like pigtails like the like bouncy and stuff like if we're going for the magical girl vibes then uh, I thought it would be a good addition to give her more of the water kind of vibe I have no idea what I'm saying I just some the colors uh, about her dress I want to also change it since she is a water fairy I would imagine she's around the water a lot or could transform into like a mermaid like a uh, creature or fairy and or fairy so yeah um, pretty simple. I changed her name to Bubbles. Um, pretty basic, I know. <laughs> but honestly, it's one of the best I can come up with in a while. <laughs> now, on to the Wind Fairy. And first of all, I'd like to start by saying Wind Fairy. She seems more like a nature girl than Wind, the embodiment of Wind. But you know what? Let's go with it. Uh, before I actually looked at her additional details, part of her profile, it says she's actually, like, carefree, I would say. But I imagine her as this more spontaneous, uh, wild girl from her description. So I gave her some wild hair, I guess, and just kind of made it, like, her hair was, like, blowing in the wind as she was, like, flying through the forest or the fields. Um, really catching the wind in her hair. Yeah, uh, I really like how her mean design turned out because I thought, like, it's really cute. I like any character with green hair. Like, any character with green hair is a pass for me. For her dress, I also want her to be very light so she can easily get away from people chasing her, maybe playing tag or something. Uh, so I tried doing that. I was going to give her, like, um, an off sleeve, but, like, I don't know how to explain it. Probably not an off but something like that. But then I remembered that they're very restricting uh, from what I remember near, like, the arm part and armpit part. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I tried putting, like, a twig in her hair, but then I just thought that would be, like, I just couldn't work that out. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I decided that her final name would be Taiga. I have no idea. Uh, a few color changes later, and we have Tiger, the Wind Fairy. Now to the Fire Fairy, yay! <laughs> uh, for the Fire Fairy, um, from her description, I wanted to give her like, um, like secret badass vibe. <laughs> so I gave her um, wild hair, and as cliche as it seems, I gave her uh, fire pupils. That sounds very strange. I used the fire clip in her hair as like an earring, kind of, um, yeah. Um, I want her to seem like kind of a savage, <laughs> to be honest. Do molly like a uh, burning ember or something. And also her hair, like, back to her hair, I want her, I want it to be like singed. Because obviously if you're around fire a lot, your hair would probably catch on fire sometimes which is not fun but i think she would enjoy getting in a little bit of danger so price you pay for singed hair <laughs> for her dress i thought it would be uh fun if she had like wool i know it seems very strange but i think wool is strong against fire i think it's a strong fabric against fire so that's why i gave it to her also, dark colors kind of, like, uh, gather more heat. So maybe she just likes to feel the heat sometimes. <laughs> uh, the rest of her is pretty simple. And there's not much to say about her. I gave her a little scar on her cheek. 
because I think sometimes she would get in danger. <laughs> Her name is Spark. Um, not that creative, as I said before, while making Bubbles the water fairy, but again, it's the best I could come up with. <laughs> now onto the light fairy. We are moving on with these designs quick. <laughs> Uh, for the light fairy, she seems like a very wholesome, very, like, positive person, uh, hence her name. So for her design, uh, I just wanted to give her more that, like, for her back hair was very crazy before. I think it was just very floating and wanted to give, like, you know, where that anime character's hair is just, okay, never mind. <laughs> but her hair was very wild. So I basically just changed it to be like um, a bit wavy and I gave her uh, a small bun in, on her head. Then I changed the star to a necklace because who wouldn't want to have a giant golden star hanging from your neck? <laughs> her dress is pretty simple, uh, not much to say about it. I want to go off the theme of light. And I am allowing myself for the Light Fairy and the Dark Fairy to use um, different uh, colors. The color schemes that the fairies are given. <laughs> Her name was originally going to be Lux, but I changed it to Lucy. <laughs> just for simplicity. Because I didn't want to like overdo her name or anything like that. <laughs> All right, I'm changing opinions. The Dark Fairy is my new favorite redesign. <laughs> Try and tell me differently. <laughs> uh, it said that she was mysterious, uh, like V, but I want to give her more mysterious vibes than V because V just seems like pure evil, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so with V being pure evil and the Dark Fairy being mysterious, the Dark Fairy has got to have some cool eyes because of her mysteriousness, like... <laughs> also, she has, like, a giant ponytail. I swear, that is very strange. Um, but yeah, I gave her a little uh, moon clip, a uh, moon star clip to hold up all that hair. <laughs> her eyes, I was going, I was considering actually doing it because the custom highlights, uh... I was kind of like hesitating to do so because I want these fairies to be as gotcha as possible. More Luna May style, kind of? I was kind of like having a very hard time considering it. <laughs> With her outfit, it's pretty simple and I allowed myself to use black, such as I allowed myself to use white on the light fairy. <laughs> I love her dress design, and she's honestly super cute. <laughs> I fell in love with her the second I started making her. I changed her name to Taya, which seems very random, but I just searched up the Latin word for dark and then made a name off of the word given to me. <laughs> so yeah, just doing some uh, quick research there. But overall, Taya is now one of my favorite fairies. I can already hear all the Gotcha World and Gotcha Memories fans yelling at me through their screens. <laughs> so, with Ellie's redesign, I was very cautious about doing so. And I remember this is redesigning. Just design change, not really character change, just so everyone knows. Now, looking at Ellie's design, there's not much wrong with it, but I felt like there's too much going on. <laughs> also, simplifying a character's design when there's too much going on is actually very important. I know Ellie is supposed to be a good fairy, and her design is very cute and very pastel, and I love it. But for the sake of this video, I had to change something big about her design, or else it would just be changing outlines and slight colors <laughs> and some people wouldn't even notice the difference so basically uh by simplifying a character's design you limit your color palette to like three to five to seven colors um at the max and you go on from there i wanted her wings to match with her eyes and her hair is absolutely fine i'm fine with that i want to give her a more uh, purpley pink vibe 
and also her no so her outfit of course it's a little more dulled down but it's for the sake of the video as i've said before again simplifying her design it was quite easy i've learned to simplify my designs when i think there's too much going on in front of my eyes and i have to adjust something about it <laughs> a little character designing tip i guess <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys aren't too mad about my redesign. Now for V's character, the pure little evil devil. <laughs> Her design is the complete opposite of what I said about Ellie's design. So much for the sake of the video. Except her design is a little lacking. It's called too basic of a character. <laughs> now there's anything wrong with, uh, I think it was these uh, pigtails that caught me off guard because they were very like strange and kind of unsettling in a way. <laughs> they had no dynamic to them and it just made her seem like even more of like a, like a trash kid. <laughs> oh God, people are going to kill me for that. <laughs> Uh, these dress, I edited it, um, also simplifying some of her colors on her dress, uh, just to kind of, like, um, be coherent with Ellie's design. For the sake of the video, for the sake of content, for the sake of watch time. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys, uh, like seeing me redesign the fairy OCs. Of course, this is my first commentary, so there are a lot of uhs and likes and awkward laughing that is just because i am not used to this kind of video <laughs> if you'd like to see me redesign more of gotcha's ocs or presets please comment down below so and you guys can see me suffer <laughs> bye